Welcome to another video from Excel and CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you how to connect Google Sheets with Excel. Once we connect Google Sheets with an Excel file, the changes made in the source file, I mean the Google Sheets, will be reflected automatically in the Excel file at the expense of a single mouse click. Let me show you how to do that. Here is my Google Sheet containing some sample sales data. To connect this file with an Excel file, click on share, copy link, done, we'll create a new Excel file, right click, new, Microsoft Excel worksheet, sample sales data, open, Go to the data tab of the Excel ribbon, click on from web and if we cannot find this option here, get data from other sources from web, paste the copied link here, paste and this step is the integral part of this method. Replace edit question mark USB equal sharing with export question mark format equal xlsx okay connect see we have a new dialog called navigator and our Google Sheet is listed here. See here is the preview of the Google Sheet. If I click on load, this data will be loaded into a new worksheet. But we have to make some changes before that because Excel has detected the column headers as column 1, column 2, column 3 etc. To change these column headers, click on transform data. See the data is loaded into the Power Query Editor. To promote these first row as headers, go to the Transform tab, click on Use First Row as Headers. See the column headers have been modified. Now to load this data into an Excel worksheet, Home, click on Close and Load. And here we have the data in the Google Sheet. Now let me make some changes here. We'll add a new column, 2019. Back to Excel worksheet. To update this worksheet for the changes made in the Google Sheet, click on Refresh. See the worksheet has been updated and if you want this worksheet to update at regular intervals, select this table, refresh, connection properties, refresh at every 5 minutes. Also refresh data when opening the file. Ok. Let me close this workbook, save. We'll add one more column, 
enable content running background query see the excel worksheet has been updated for the changes made in the google sheet hope you will find this video useful for feedback and discussion please make use of the comment section and those who are visiting this channel for the first time subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video releases thanks for watching wish you a great day